This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Hey, we want to let you know that we're keeping an eye on that fire that's burning near the San Javier Mission. Yeah, let's go to Veronica Bernaccio right now. She's joining us live from the scene, and we're learning we've got some new information. Veronica, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, we've been out here all morning in the Drexel Fire District. They did reach out to us and they told us that there are no injuries reported in the 20,000 bales of hail that's behind me in this structure right here. They're, they are damaged and destroyed at this time. Now, this fire started at 6 p.m. yesterday, so it's been about 12 hours, just over 12 hours now since it's been burning. Um, there's been fire crews, 40 firefighters out here uh, from different fire departments all throughout. And we do know that the St. Javier Mission is not in at this time, not destroyed in any way. It's actually right over there. We can see it from here. It's completely away from this fire, but we don't know if this fire is completely contained right now. We'll give you another look over here. You can see the smoke has really just come up. The fire has kind of gone down a lot because fire crews this morning have been putting out the fire with lots of water. Now, we don't know at this time how the fire started. They're still investigating that, but we should know within the next couple hours how this fire was started. And once we get that information, we'll be sure to get that to you guys here and on our website, kgun9.com. But for now, reporting live near the St. Javier Mission, Veronica Bernaccio, kgun 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Veronica. Well, a four-month-old baby is the latest victim of kids being left in hot cars, this one in Phoenix. The baby girl was left in a van while her adoptive father was at work. To put things into perspective, it got up to 93 degrees outside during this time yesterday. According to the group Kids and Cars, this is the fourth time the child has died in a hot car in Arizona this year. We're waiting to hear what the TUSD board will do with its substitute teacher contract. Leaders are expected to talk about it and possibly vote at tonight's meeting. This comes after the district told about 200 subs to not go to work yesterday. Here's what we've learned. The contract with the outside company that manages the subs has been suspended. In an internal email KGA9 got a hold of, the district told the subs to cancel all their assignments as of Tuesday. The district says it's not worried about a sub shortage. Police in Tucson say a student is facing a felony charge in connection with threats made against Pueblo High School. It happened yesterday. That school went into a soft lockdown after a new threat surfaced on the internet. Concerned parents met at the high school last night where Tucson Unified Superintendent, that's Gabriel Trujillo, there he is, said the lockdown was called because of a Snapchat message that warned students of a video threatening the school. Trujillo says he had not seen that video and police have not said whether or not the reported video even exists. And it's not just Pueblo. San Rita police are still investigating an online threat that led to an arrest. Police say a teen posted pictures of guns and talked about shooting hundreds of students on social media. Police were already investigating other threats and they sent patrols to the schools on Monday. The district says a second threat on Monday prompted officials to cancel school yesterday. That was Tuesday. Police say they made an arrest in that second case. A teenager is now facing multiple charges, including one for making a terrorist. Right. Arizona is getting a visit from the vice president. Mike Pence is supposed to arrive in Phoenix this afternoon. We've got some video here from the last time he was here in the month of March. Today, the Veep is meeting with Senator Martha McSally at a reception. Tomorrow, he'll take part in the Southwest Hispanic Leaders Roundtable. That'll be held in Scottsdale before he comes here to Tucson. The VP will visit Caterpillar's training center in Green Valley, where he's going to talk more about the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. And we are seeing nice conditions, but already starting to go up a bit. 63 is what we dipped to. We're back up to 64 now. Lots of sunshine winds out of the south at about five miles per hour. Pretty typical October weather. We would usually be right around 90, and we're going to hover somewhere between that today and tomorrow. Our chances for showers and storms have certainly diminished. Only a 10% chance now, and that's late tomorrow. There are other chances uh, in Cochise County that start as early as today through Friday. But for Tucson, it is uh, looking less and less likely. We won't rule it out completely. Just very slim chances for rain tomorrow into overnight Friday morning. Otherwise, lots of sunshine, uh, sunshine for the weekend. Low 90s right into early next week.